G'day, Trooper Cody and Steve, all set up in his Middle East gear, and I'm going to tell you about one of the characters of World War I in the Middle East. His name was John Robinson Royston. He was born in South Africa in 1860, died in 1942. In the Zulu War of 1879, he was a sergeant in the Natal Rifles. He did that for five years. In the Boer War, 1899 to 1902, he started the Boer War as a sergeant major. After one week, he was commissioned to the lieutenant. In 1901, he was made the officer in charge of the West Australia Mounted Infantry, 1901. Lots, 16,000 Australians went to fight in the Boer War. They formed the West Australia Mounted Infantry. He was the officer in charge of it. He was uh, such a distinguished fighter, officer, that he actually received the Distinguished Service Order. And before that war was over, he had always already been made champion of the Grand Cross. You need to look that up for yourself to just see how important that was to become a champion of the Grand Cross. By 1904, he was a Lieutenant Colonel in the Border Mounted Rifles. Mo this is still in Afri South Africa, but most of his troopers were Australians who stayed in South Africa after the Boer War. And in 1906, he started Royston Horse fighting the Zulus, mostly again with Australians. 1914 came, World War I started, and he was in charge of the Natal Light Horse. Again, mostly Australians in South Africa, 1914, fighting the Germans and the Germans' allies in 1914. The Germans had more sense than to fight in a number of fronts, and so they surrendered to Africa and just went back to concentrate on Egypt and the, the Western Front. So Royston wanted to be involved in the Western Front, went from Africa because there was no more fighting to England. Kitchener then said to him, I want you to go to the Middle East. He arrived there in February of 1916. He was a colonel in the 12th Light Horse and was involved in the Battle of Romani, which we've talked about in a few other videos. Very important Middle East battle. One of the things that he's renowned for in the Battle of Romani is that he was so much a officer who was at the front leading his men and encouraging his men that he wore out 14 horses in the course of one day. That is a whole topic for another video, because that's not necessarily a good thing. It's about the wear and tear of horses, but we'll move on for now. For at Romani, he was also shot in the calf. He refused to leave the front line, even though he'd been shot. Chevelle for, uh, ordered him, directly ordered him, to go to the hospital to be treated. And what's famous about him is that he went to the hospital, got it treated, rode back, and that when he came straight back to the battlefront, he was riding around with the bandage unraveling and hanging off his leg as he was riding around. But that's not the most famous thing that Royston's known for. What he's known for is that he didn't carry a weapon. He carried a riding crop. And in the Battle of Romani, sorry, in the Battle of Magdaba, riding with his riding crop, out in front of his men, he came to a trench. There were five Turks in the trench, armed with rifles. He rode up to them with his riding crop, screaming at them in Zulu. And the five Turks laid down their weapons, surrendered, and came back with him when he didn't even have a weapon. He only had his riding crop. That's probably his most famous uh, action. And the sad thing is that shortly before the Beersheba charge, I think the man probably thought he was invincible because then he subjected himself to a self-test. He wanted to see how bad poison gas was and he took a, took a small sniff of poison gas and unfortunately had 
very bad effect from it, was hospitalized, was so bad, had to be sent back to England, and never again went back into combat. But he did come to Australia in the 30s, where he was greeted, uh, given a hero's welcome as he toured the country, and as I say, finally passed away in 1942. So that's the story of John Robertson Royston. Cheers. Subscribe. Check out the other videos. Till next time. Thank you.